this video, I want to give you a short tutorial on how to approach homework 6. So to start, I would the regular file in Turing directory so that there file regular. If you scroll down, all the way down, you will see them um, uh, L4 not regular. Alt. So there are actually two proofs of the same result where you're showing that or is not regular. For now, we're going to focus on Alt because Alt is basically what the exercise of homework is doing. Just taking this proof and breaking it down into multiple bits so that it, you can be graded or partially, rather than just a audit or you, don't, you didn't. So while homework six might a bit appear a bit more scary than possibly quite big, it's actually simple if you approach it. And so what what you see here is the proof all the way. What you can see is that there is overall structure. Never we're proving that a language is not regular. So far we've been using this theorem that is saying we show that a language is not regular. If for all pumping length P that is greater than one, we can show that the language L is pumped, is clogged. Learn about how to prove that a is not regular. So so you can think of this as being the, the major step of your, like the big, just applying this theorem. To apply this theorem, you have three goals. First one, you have to show that the word A of P and B of P is in the language. The only thing we did here before, just open up the definition l4 we open that up then we give specific word which is a of p uh, b of p power of p and b to the power of p but then if you are able to apply this you are met with three goals first one is to prove that the word is in the language second one is to prove that word has at least length p the third is to prove that the word is in the clogs language, right? So now let's look at our homework six. And we start from the bottom. So what we see on the bottom is we want to prove that language L5 is not regular. So how should we do this? We should use theorem not regular, basic idea. So this theorem is just giving you the outermost part of the proof, right? So going to be basically something similar to the code highlighted in. Then what we see, we see the first goal is to show that the language, the, the word is in the language. Right. So now let's look at our homework six. Find something. Like that. Oh, look here. That's basically that part. So this first theorem that you are asked to prove matches this first goal that is here. So then let's look at the second one. Second one is showing that you have to prove that the length of P, uh, the length of the word is at least P. Look at the second theorem. You're being asked exactly to prove that. Right? But now of course the word, I already picked the word for you, so you just have to prove that um, A of P concatenated with B of S of P. Because in homework six, what you're asked is to show that the language A of N, B of N plus, basically you're, you want to check A of N, B of M, where N is greater or uh, is, where N is smaller than M. Where you have fewer A's than B. That's what you're being asked. Um, and what the way we're going to prove this is by showing that you just need to pick 
n to be p and m to be p plus 1, successor of p. So the first theorem, uh, not regular L1, is just matching this piece of code. And then the second part is going to be matching this second piece of the piece of the code. So one nice thing about just now going through L5 not regular 2 that at some point you might want to just run omega. And what omega do, does or omega or this is just the proof is now at a point where uh, Fock is able to prove this automatic. So your proof should be basically the here in regular two. In regular four, we see that we have four one, four two, four three, and then we have four, and we have three. Okay. Now let's look at what we have here. We go to here. Our result is to show that the language is in clogs. We have something like that. Yes, we do. It's going to be theorem three. Theorem three, you have to prove that the language is in clogs. Okay. So this is the third step of the proof. That's why it's even called L5 not regular 3. So then what do we have? So if this is the, the third part of the proof, you can see that when you're proving this, what the only thing you do is, now I'm talking about how do we plot and prove. Well, the objective is really just to use, as we can see here in the comments, Thing that we should use L5 not regular. So now let's look at L5 not regular. What L5 not regular is saying is that well if P is greater or equal than 1 and Y is different than nil, then the power of this equals to that, and you have the length, then you have all of this big you can even break it down. Pain. This looks a bit scary, but it's not really. Why? Because if you go here on regular, and you see what we do. We do this. We choose what is the i, right? And then we unfold, and we introduce, and then we destruct n, simplify it, clean it up. Then what we want, need to do, look at what we have. We have that P is greater than 1. We have X, Y, Z. We have that power equals, we have that Y equals nil. We have that length is less than P. It looks very similar to this. Which means that your L5 not regular is going to be basically it's going to be related to this code. And that's basically how you should approach this homework. Just go through this, the proof. The objective is you go through this proof and you try to see where you're in the proof and then from the goal state, how do I prove a certain result, right? So if I need to prove this, how do I reach this proof state in, in the example? That's what you're trying to do. So basically you are asked to complete each theorem. And the way you get that, either you try to prove it directly, which I appreciate if you can, but if you can't, what you should do, you have a way out, which is you have to study how this proof is going and you have to match the proof state with the incomplete theorem. Right? So in this case, you go all the way here, you will see exactly the same proof state. It's not exactly the same because the language is a bit different, right? But it's going to be very close. And that's basically how you should approach this. Oh, let me know if you need a bit more help.